This week, we're going to be performing an exorcism. There's a lot of things I have to climb over. And by exorcism, I mean cleansing. And by cleansing, I mean organizing my out of control closet. <laughs> if you're a busy but lazy compulsive hoarder like me and you're interested in learning how to maximize your small space, closet add ons that are game changer and folding methods to save you space and money, then keep on watching. Coming from one lazy person to another, you better recognize I wasn't going to clean this closet alone. It wasn't going to happen. Okay. So I hired professional organizers to give both me and you the best pro tips on closet organization on a budget and how to keep it organized. Okay. Huge thank you to Favletics for sponsoring today's video. So the very first step the pros recommended was to decide on what your mission for the space is and how to best utilize it. So for me, my closet currently has no shoe space and the clothes are divided between three separate rooms. Dennis hates the mess. I just have no space. That's the problem, okay? So before cleaning or moving parts, look at the layout of the closet and start to visualize the flow. A good way to do this is a quick sketch of how your day typically goes. So my day is usually structured with a workout in the morning, then I hop into like my everyday clothes type of vibe and I put my PJs away. So it kind of goes like that. So that's how we try to structure the things. So make sure you analyze how your day is structured as well. And currently the closet lacks flow. My PJs and my workout clothes and my everyday clothes are mixed into one and my sports bras are everywhere. It's a little much. Okay. It's an absolute mess. So during this stage, what you want to do is gather all the materials, all the bins, all of the tables, all the hangers, garbage bags, okay? Things to donate, the little section. So the girls from the Neat Technique actually brought all, all of this stuff, made it so much easier for me to kind of visualize it. And the biggest tip is to organize this somewhere that isn't in your closet, okay? So that you can actually see everything clearly. So the cleaning started bright and early, 8 a.m., oh, okay. Um, the professional organizers arrived at my house to begin setting up. It was crazy. So much stuff was literally everywhere. So literally we are gonna remove everything from the closet, everything from the drawers, everything under the bed drawers. This is exactly what we did and we put it all in one place. Things can get pretty crazy. Now you're gonna wanna decide what you really wanna keep or what you want to let go. Of. This is the hard part, I understand. But we're trying not to be emotional with everything. At least, not the things you love. You know, you want to keep those things. So, a quick tip is if you haven't used it in six months, girl, let her go. Let it go. So, if this is really difficult for you to do, but you know you haven't used it in six months, just think about other people that could really utilize the stuff and absolutely love it. I usually donate things to uh, shelters, people in Colombia, shelters in Colombia, also just like, some friends and cousins that like actually will work out in the clothes as opposed to just lounging around like me so think about that and think about all the grand space you're gonna have oh my god so during this process i found things that i completely forgot about like my period onesie maybe i'll do um, a video on that if you're interested let me know i got rid of a ton of stuff right here okay and i also had a really hard time getting rid of some sentimental items we are going to take everything properly organize it categorize it and fold it quick little tip is to spend time categorizing your clothes so that you have everything separated from each other so figure out what you wear the most and what you wear the least and make sure to have the items you go back to often in really accessible places for example your pjs don't belong with your workout clothes another tip is to have a donations bin like literally a bin in your closet. So pretty much what this is gonna do is anytime that you are going day to day, you see a clothing that you're like, oh, you don't really wear this. That often pop it into your donation item. There you go. And then you don't have to go back in and start from step one. So if you wanna maximize space, I get you. You have a small closet. Here we go. The biggest tip, fold it a specific way. I'm about to show you how. And this way is nice because they're like easy and we're gonna put them like that mm -hmm. on the drawer. So they I don't, like that. They don't fall over. Yeah, even if they fold, they don't like right. stay in like a little pocket. So you just grab it like this. Mm -hmm. And then you tuck this part in, and then you bring it all the way down. And then here, you bring this part here. And this is like a little pocket where you're just gonna stick this nice. in. Wow. And then you can just like stack this them like so this. They're all gonna be like standing like that. Awesome. I love that. Here's also a similar weight on how you can fold your little panties. Add the undies in here. You fold it once and two, and then we create again a little pocket in here, retine, and we make sure that we put this inside. And it's always trying to create a little a square. So get yourself these little panty organizers off of Amazon. They're the best thing. I will link them down below. Honestly, game changer. A little tip for nice shirts and dresses, fold them on to their hangers like this. So you just lay it down and then you put this side of the hanger where oh, the okay. armpit goes. Got it. And then you just kind of lay this to the sides. Wow, that was super easy. Like that was like three seconds. <laughs> yeah, so you just have to remember.
Also, a little tip is we ended up getting these really cool contraptions off Amazon, super cheap, to put all of my very beautiful dresses so that they can be stored away. So my wedding dress is in this. One of my dresses that I wore for a friend's wedding is in this as well. And it just keeps no dust. Nothing can get into these pretty little things. So during the stage, I came in and let them know what the functionality of each clothes were. So I set a pile aside for my rock climbing clothes. I also gave them some direction on what I wear often and also not so much. And with this information, they were able to decide where in the closet it belongs. Also, I let them know what pieces were from Fabletics since I wear these so often and I wanted them all in one specific place. Speaking of clothing, this video is sponsored by Fabletics and I'm excited to show you some very inspiring and beautiful, uniquely designed workout gear. Perfect for the gym. Oh my god, look at this little kitty. Mm -hmm. I love him. Starting off with this pretty lady in red. Okay, literally Dennis did a double take with this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then I fell on my ass like that. <laughs> Anyways, I felt very sexy in this. It is beautiful. The fabric is silky smooth with this beautiful design opening on the side meant to make you feel sexy and beautiful while at home. I love it. This is literally what I'm wearing today while doing this whole video. I feel like I'm in my PJs. It is great. Can we talk about the color in this one? Look at this, people. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So freaking beautiful. So gorgeous. This is the perfect stretch to hug your body in the best way, whether you're running errands or just want to look cute or if you're tackling an intense workout, this is the set for you. Girl, let's not forget that some our bodies are built in the wind, it's spring, okay? And that's okay because we still got time. You are gonna wanna sweat in this reversible. Yes, I said reversibles, this is what I'm all about. You see, Fabletics is always doing me like this. Like, hello. I can use this this way and then I could use it this way. I got a bunch of bras that are double-sided. It's the best thing for space and just money. With these high-waisted seamless shorts, perfect for any high-impact sport and to make that booty feel and look good. Girl, what are you waiting for? Okay, new styles drop every single Thursday. Plus, you also get Eddie Two Bottoms for $24 and 50% off your first order and free shipping when you join VIP. Okay, that's what it's about. So from one hardworking woman to the other, you deserve it. Click the link in my bio. Here's some products that the pro showed me that I highly recommend to keep your closet organized and highly functional. And they're not no gimmicky little hacks, okay? The first product is small and thin felt hangers. Oh my God. These are a game changer. Okay, let me tell you. You can buy these anywhere. Having thin hangers allows you to have much more room to hang things up and they keep your clothing from slipping off when you go to look for something. So it also makes your closet look very clean and organized when they're all set into the same color. Underwear drawers. Okay, your panties also need a little home. This is a clean looking, great way to organize your shelf. Bins and drawers with labels. I know it seems kind of like, Thing. But trust me, it is one less thing you have to do in the morning. You know where your PJs are, where your workout clothes are, where your sports bras are, do it, and it looks pretty. And so for me, my shoes used to be bundled up in a little corner, like I didn't even care about them, and now they created this incredible organized station for me where my shoes look like they're on display at a store. These little gadgets are the best thing. You put one on top of the other, and you can fit like six different shoes. Jewelry organizers. Okay, why limit yourself, okay? Why limit yourself to a jewelry box or like a few little hooks and hangers? when you can get these drawer dividers and have all your jewelry on display. Now, are you ready for my final closet? Ah, check it out. I love the way there's a designated home for everything. I love the labels. I love how everything is color coordinated. I love how my hangers just look gorgeous all together. I can finally see where all of my shoes are, my undies, my bras. I love the way they stored all of my period products because Helga comes every single month. And my life. I love the way they organize my accessories oh, and like my main bags. I thought that was genius. Loved it. Everything just looks so clean and crisp. Again, I know this is not for everyone. You're not gonna hire a professional organizer, but I hope that these little tips will help you and the links down below and just having a more organized space. Adapt these new habits. They are a game changer. I know that not everyone can go and like purchase a new bin or like a new organizer thing, but you can make and tweak with what you got. Also, I just wanna let you know I'm currently in the process of a re redecorating my house and that is right every little area is being redecorated reorganized I hired an incredible interior designer and I'm so excited to show you so stay tuned for that series I don't know what to name it I don't know what should we name it home makeover home renovations I don't know let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down thank you once again to Fabletics for sponsoring this video as always be sure to check out their link at the top of my description if you haven't subscribed subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye this yeah, is tuck that in so it's mm -hmm. kind of like bring this over all the end. All the way in? Yeah, to the end. Yeah, oh. to the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Halfway or all the way? No, well, that was kind of ugly there, halfway. right? Halfway. Halfway? Okay, halfway. Yes. And, and then, then tuck this into tuck. any of them? Uh, the first one. The first one. Okay.
Okay. Mm. And then you just something like that. Yeah. Show me, show me. This is hers. <laughs> this is mine. I'm so happy I don't have to deal with this. Yeah.